So we're here today at um, this garage undertaking a dilapidation survey for a landlord. Um, the tenant is looking to move out, um, new tenant moving in, and we need to sort of identify um, the issues or regard to the covenants. I've looked at the lease to start with and um, reviewed the clauses and the covenants within the lease for the repair obligations of the tenant just so we know exactly what their repair um, costs were going to be in the in the future. So what we're going to do today is look at each element um, of the internal and external structure because they have a repair obligation for a full repair and lease and we need to identify each element in turn and measure areas so we can produce a schedule um, that can be then submitted along with costs um, as a quantifiable demand um, to the tenant. So the important thing about dilapidations is understanding what's going on above the floor level. So on big buildings like this, we tend to hire a MU, so a mo mobile working elevated platform. And that's so we can see the condition of the roof. So what we tend to find is cut edge corrosion. So that is where the plaster sole sheets, the paint finish is starting to corrode back and rust in. And also on this one, we've got holes in all the gutters. These are things that we wouldn't have seen if we hadn't hired a machine. Um, and they will be a very big part of any claim for dilapidations on a current tenants. And if you've not seen them and missed them, then that's something that will end up carrying over to a new lease and a new tenant and will cause issues between landlord and tenant in the future.